Hi everyone, welcome to this gentle yoga practice with me, Sophie Ray. This practice is going to be based around grounding and it's going to involve just a little bit of movement and a body scan meditation. So make sure that you've got a comfortable place to lie down. You can do the meditation on, on your bed or on the floor, but just making sure that you're lying down on something soft, you might have a pillow under the head, pillows under the backs of the legs. But we're going to start off with some movement and we're going to sit in a chair or on the edge of your bed. So coming to sit down. Allowing the feet to press into the earth. If the feet don't quite touch the floor, maybe have a couple of blocks underneath the feet just so that you've got something to press the feet down into. A little lift through the crown of the head, maybe a roll of the shoulders. Closing the eyes or softening the gaze and taking a couple of moments to arrive. We're going to turn the palms to face down. So that sense of bringing the energy down, bringing the focus downwards, everything connecting to the earth, the surface beneath the sit bones, maybe feeling the thighs on your chair or your bed. Taking a few deep sighing breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Taking a deep breath in and letting the breath out, maybe letting it out through the mouth and seeing if you can lengthen out your exhales. Breathing in, sending it down towards the stomach. Breathing out, lengthening out the exhale for as long as you can, for as long as feels comfortable. Maybe noticing the entire journey of your exhale from the moment it starts to the moment it ends. And how does it feel in your body today? How does that exhale feel? Maybe you encourage your sit bones to root a little further into the support. Maybe you imagine an energy flowing down through your legs and through to the soles of the feet. Maybe you imagine that energy through your palms and onto your thighs. So whatever that energy means to you, it might be a sensation, it might be a feeling, a vision, or just that idea of grounding, of being connected to your body and to the present moment. Even if that isn't true for you right now, so maybe your mind is really busy, maybe you're arriving here after having a difficult conversation or you've been feeling a little overwhelmed, rushing around, that sort of thing. There can be lots of reasons why we feel ungrounded. Maybe you're arriving here and you already feel grounded, so that might feel easier for you. But let's try and not, and not make any judgments about where we are today. Let yourself feel anything that is coming up. Remind yourself why you chose to do this practice. a slow deep breath in 
lengthening out the exhale. And let's take a few more rounds of that breathing practice. And start to settle into a rhythm of breath that feels comfortable. Maybe that is a slow, steady breath. Maybe you continue with that lengthening of the exhales. And let's start to wiggle through the toes and just lifting and lowering the toes. You could do them both at the same time. You could do one set and then the other and just giving them a wiggle but keeping the balls of your feet pressing down, keeping the heel down on the earth. And then pressing down through the balls of your feet and your toes and start to lift your heels and lower them. So almost like you're, almost like you're walking, but just lifting and lowering your heels and maybe noticing any sensations through your calves. And that sensation of your hands lifting and lowering because you've got your hands on your thighs. Make sure you're still breathing. And then press down through the heels and start to lift and lower the toes and the balls of your feet. So it's almost like you're tapping your feet. And then let's start to rotate the ankles. You could do one at a time. You could do them both together. Going in both directions. You might keep the eyes closed so that you can really feel into the feet. Taking your senses inwards and downwards all the way down to the feet. Start to tap your feet on the floor. Maybe noticing the vibrations. You could do, again, you could do one at a time. You might just be tapping the toes. So it might not be, the movement might not be coming from the hips. It might just be coming from the ankles, so you can see here, my legs are pretty much still and it's just my feet that are tapping. So whatever works for you, give them a go, see how they feel. And then coming to stillness. And you might wanna shuffle away, if you're in a chair, just making sure that you're not sitting back in your chair. So maybe shuffling slightly forward. And bringing your awareness to your pelvis. And we're going to tilt the pelvis forward very slightly. So like you're expanding and lengthening through the front of the body, you're arching through your low back and then tucking your tailbone under. So we do these pelvic tilts on the floor sometimes and you might feel like you're leaning back, tilting the pelvis forward and then tucking the tailbone under and rocking back. And take a few more in your own time. Slow it down, there is no rush. Move with your breath, maybe that's inhaling as you tilt forward and exhaling as you lean back. And then coming back to centre, finding a neutral position for the hips. I'm going to start to rock from side to side, so this might feel a little more challenging or Range, a little bit of less range of movement. So it's almost like it's almost like you're shifting from one sit bone to the other, and you might feel a shortening down the side of your waist, down one side, and lengthening down the other. Almost like you're giving your bum a massage into the chair. Bring the pelvis back to neutral and let's see if we can 
take a clock action. So imagine a clock, maybe 12 o'clock is at the front, so six o'clock is behind you, and then we've got three and nine o'clock on the side. And let's see if we can hit all the points, all the numbers. So you might bring your hands to your hips. For me, this feels easier somehow, but maybe you have the hands still resting down on your knees or thighs. And I'm actually moving a bit through the spine as well. So I'm not stopping my shoulders from moving. I'm just allowing my pelvis to move in a circular movement. If it feels uncomfortable on the chair, you could try it standing up and just to get that, that action. And it's almost like you're um, trying to do a hula hoop, but very, very slowly tilting. You tilt forward, you take it over to one side, you take it back, take it over to the other. And then changing the direction. Again, making sure that you are breathing. And then bringing it back to center, rooting down through the sit bones, a little lift through the crown of the head. Let's take a breath in to reach the arms up. Exhale as you take a twist over to the right, floating the arms down. Inhale it back to center, reach the arms up. Exhale, take it over to the other side. Inhaling to lift, exhaling to twist, and let's keep it flowing. You might be turning the head to look over the shoulder as you twist. A couple more. Bringing it back to centre. On an exhale, let's float the hands down to the thighs. Taking the feet a little bit wider. Take a breath in. On an exhale, start to fold forward. Couple of options with your forward fold is to completely let yourself fold and maybe you've got a block on the floor so you're bringing your hands onto something. Maybe you bring the feet and the knees closer together and you fold over the legs. So that might feel better. Or you might shuffle right to the edge of the mat so that you can extend the legs slightly, press down through the heels, toes lift up, and then bring it into a forward fold. So a few different options. Another option is to bring the feet together, take the knees out, and then fold. So that we can stretch out through the back. If you are on your bed, you can shuffle all the way onto your bed so that your legs are stretched out, all the soles of the feet are together and the knees are out wide, and then you could bring it into a forward fold. Take a few more breaths here. You might bring a little bit of movement into it, a bit of a sway from side to side. and then slowly rising all the way back up and come into your seat. And we're gonna to come to stand. And we're gonna step the feet out a little bit wider, turning the toes out, turning the knees out. Take a breath in and on an exhale, bend the knees and sink the hips down. Goddess squat. The different to our yogi squat or malasana where we have the feet uh, a little further together and we sink a lot lower. Our goddess squat is quite high. We can have hands to hips. Think about your feet pressing into the floor. You might feel that energy drawing up through the legs 
and then think about a downward moving energy connecting you to the earth. Maybe a little squeeze of the bum. Maybe you bring the arms up, cactus the arms, spread the fingers, but you could equally bring hands to heart. You might even move a little bit from side to side. Check back in with the breath. Maybe you sway your hips. And then coming to stand, straightening the legs and heel toeing the feet back in to stand. Have a shake out of the legs or rotate the ankles. You might even uh, rotate through the hips. And then coming into Tadasana, your mountain rooting down through the feet once again, lifting up through the crown of the head. Maybe your arms are active here. Maybe you close your eyes or soften the gaze. You could bring a little bit of movement in here. So if you, you don't want to be still or if you just want to feel through the body a little bit more before we come to our body scan or if there's any areas of tension or tightness that you feel like you need to work through, then take an opportunity now to do that maybe you pause the video so a little bit of intuitive movement rolling the shoulders so grounding is about being present in the body being present in the moment so if you're feeling um quite quite out there if if feeling a little bit vulnerable maybe, or uh, you're unsure of what you're doing, feeling confused, maybe there's lots of unwanted thoughts, feeling quite stressed out. Quite often it's because we're not, we don't feel safe, we don't feel grounded. So being grounded is to feel safe. So reminding yourself that you are safe in your body, you are safe with yourself. Feel free to have a little bit of a move. You might take a full body stretch. And then we're gonna make our way either to lying down or you can come to, to sit for your body scan. I encourage you to lie down just because it, it does allow you then to really fully relax the body. Whereas when you're in the chair, obviously your head, um, we have to be mindful of our position a little bit more. But come to, to get settled. If you're lying down, have a pillow underneath the back of the head and a pillow underneath the backs of the legs. And then closing the eyes or softening the gaze. Taking a deep breath in, letting it out with a sigh. And take a scan around your whole body. Becoming aware of your body in your space. Notice the parts of your body connected to the surface beneath you. Becoming aware of your surroundings. Becoming aware of your breath and how it moves through your body. And 
I'm bringing to mind a red light. Imagine that red light is your breath. Start to settle into your breath and into that red light, picturing it in your mind's eye. And we're going to start our body scan at the soles of the feet, so bringing your awareness, your red light and your breath all the way down to the soles of your feet. Placing that red light at the soles of your feet, taking a few breaths here. Becoming aware of your toes. Each of your toes has that red light placed maybe at the tip of the toes, the tops of the feet. Your ankles, your calves, your shins. Placing the red light on your knees, your thighs, the fronts of your thighs, the backs of your thighs. Placing the red light at the front of your hips, the back of your hips, lighting up your entire pelvis with that red light. And take a few breaths here, encouraging your legs to really soften and relax. Your legs that do a lot of work for you, they carry you around, they hold you up. Let's give them a little bit of time to rest. Placing your red light at the base of your spine, right on your tailbone. And as you breathe in, imagine that red light is rising all the way up through your spine, all the way up to the base of your skull. And as you breathe out, imagine that red light traveling all the way back down through your spine, right to the tip of your tailbone. And then allow that red light to spread across your low back, wrapping all the way around to your stomach, rising up to the middle of your stomach, your belly button, and then wrapping all the way around to the middle of your back crossing at your rib cage, circling, circling all the way around to the front of your body, that red light across your chest, both of your shoulders, and then spreading across your upper back. Feeling into your shoulder blades, And then placing the red light on your elbows, your wrists, the backs of your hands, your palms, and each of your fingertips. And encouraging your arms to rest here. Allowing your hands to soften, your fingers to relax. And 
And how does it feel? Or how would it feel to let your torso soften and relax? Sinking into the surface beneath you. Sinking into that little bit of stillness. Sinking into the present moment. And then placing that red light at the centre of your throat, the back of your neck. Becoming aware of your jaw, placing that red light at the centre of your chin, the tip of your nose, allowing your cheeks to soften, placing red lights on each of your cheeks, your eyelids and the space between your eyebrows. Encouraging your forehead to soften. Placing that red light at the crown of your head. And at the back of your head. Encouraging your head to feel heavy. Taking a full breath in, visualising that red light right across the top of your head. And as you breathe out, imagine it flowing all the way down through your body and out through the soles of your feet. And then breathing in, send it all the way back to the crown of the head. And breathing out that red light all the way down through the body and this time out through the palms of your hands. Breathing in, send it back up to the crown of the head. And this time as you breathe out, imagine that red light sinking through the back of your body into the support underneath you. That red light leaving your body leaving you to rest. So perhaps find a little bit of stillness, a little bit of connection to yourself in your day. And I'll just allow you a few more moments here. And I'll just give you a few more moments here. To breathe. To rest. Start to become aware of the whole of your body. Scanning your body as a whole. Noticing the position that it's lying in. Noticing the space around you. When you're ready, you can invite a little bit of movement back into the body back into your toes, your fingers. You might be stretching out. You might be giving yourself a hug. You might be moving your hips from side to side. You might bend into the knees. And maybe 
making your way to a comfortable seat. And I thank you so much for joining me for this practice today. Let me know how you get on. I hope you enjoy it. Thank you so much.